Yesterday, you would have seen that I picked up the LEGO Star Wars magazine, and I also have the LEGO Minecraft magazine to show you. But the video is going to be focused around not only this LEGO Star Wars magazine, but I actually have the minifigures from the next free. So I have a total of four minifigures because this month's magazine does come with a bonus. I would have at least told you about it yesterday. I don't actually think I showed you. You'll also have known that I actually picked up three magazines to sell on my Bricklink store. So I have requested for that, put all the information, image and that. So hopefully that gets accepted if I haven't missed anything out because this is actually my first time doing something like that. So it's going to take a bit of time, but I will get them up there eventually for you to purchase and we're actually going to be flicking through the magazine today so if you didn't mind not getting the minifigures and don't mind skipping through this video stay tuned because you'll be able to pause it read through the comics and also have a little go at all of the games because there are some really fun ones in the lego star wars magazine so without further ado let's take a look at those minifigure polybags so in this month's issue we actually get sabine wren who is the main minifigure for this month's magazine, which is really cool because she's the first polybag figure to come with her hairpiece and her helmet and a bunch of helmet accessories, which go really handy for the second minifigure. But I didn't open these. We have so many of these now, especially in grey, in blue, in orange. It'd be nice to get a few different colours, perhaps a few different shades of grey or something like that. And I can understand why Lego bag them up with like four of each because of how small they are, quite easy to lose. But we really don't need this many for every single Mandalorian or clone minifigure we're getting. The Sabine minifigure itself is really, really nice and actually goes really well with my other Rebels figures. I'm planning on getting the older Ezra at some point, but for now the younger Ezra will have to do. And we've also got Hera, we've got Zeb, we've got Chopper, and we're only really missing Kanan Jarrus. Sabine also comes with her helmet, so you can put that on instead. And it's nice to be getting the helmet and the hair, because you might remember with Bo-Katan, who did come with helmet and hair in the Mandalorian Starfighter she was in. I believe it was her gauntlet that she came in originally. We did get helmet and hair, so now to be getting them both with the poly bag is really, really cool. Though it does somewhat reduce the value of this minifigure from that set. As I said, not the only poly bag we got, because we also got another 212 clone trooper. We got this last year, I think it was about this time last year actually, as a main magazine. Now I got this from Morrison's here in the UK and we noticed last time that if you take a look at the very, very bottom of this magazine, it lists a few other poly bags. But this time, the 212 is the only one named on the bottom of the magazine. Now, we did see a bunch of stores having a few other leftover poly bags, and especially outside of the UK. I'm not sure this really holds up, but at least, you know, you're getting your Sabine rent, which is a really handy minifigure because Ahsoka's coming in the advent later on this year. Stick around, a few weeks time, I will have that to review here on the channel. But before we take a look in the Star Wars magazine, let's jump to Minecraft for just a second because the poly bag in this month's magazine is really really cool we've got the witch and the black cat and a little alchemy station a little potion on a wooden table which goes very nice i like the swamp that they've added as the background of this poly bag the witch is a really fun minifigure you can see the hat does have a little wobble to it it doesn't actually wobble but it is leaning slightly to the side and you can pop this off and include this on any of your other minifigures. You can see the witch just has a different shade of villager head with slight different print in the purple eyes and then the unprinted square on the nose, which is meant to represent, I guess, a war or something. And really nice purple robes that you could add to your village if you liked. And if you have a sort of Halloween-esque player or maybe any player for Halloween, you can add this hat to a Steve, to an Alex, and it does look really, really cool. Now this poly bag actually weighed the same as the two Star Wars poly bags because you basically get into minifigures in this black cat here. Again, very Halloween-y, so I'm surprised we're not getting this for Halloween this year, but I really don't think there's that much thought 
going into it. So two great magazines, but what's coming next month? Well, for the Minecraft, there's nothing too special, but you can see we are getting a player, which is always nice to get in a magazine, as well as a skeleton and a little terrain block there you can use to display them both or you can just add to your other minecraft sets a nice pink i think they're peonies if my minecraft knowledge serves me correctly but for the star wars magazine which is probably going to interest you a little more we are getting the plain shiny phase two clone trooper which i do have right here because we're getting in the battle pack now this magazine cost me seven yeah seven pounds so for three lots of seven pound 21 pound you can pick up the battle pack of these and get a shock trooper with it get some droids with it get some actual builds with it as well including that really cool tri droid build which you remove one of the leg joints by now you've likely seen my minifigure scout version for the tiny one it goes really well with your droid army so this isn't really going to be an army builder but if you're picking up the magazine anyway getting a another clone trooper is really nice this month we got the 212 next month we're getting the clone and if you're a part of the discord you've known for quite some time what the next issue of the magazine is going to be and it is this tie pilot so chances are because the magazine seems to be getting rarer and rarer near me I'm not going to be picking up any of the magazines to review. It's the same pilot that came in the TIE Interceptor and Fang Fighter. Also comes in the new TIE Fighter and X-Wing mashups, Rebuild the Galaxy set, and is also probably the same TIE Fighter we got in the TIE Bomber even. So it's not a rare minifigure. It's great to get another one of, especially if you've got an Imperial Hangar build that you're working on and clone troopers are also always welcome now i haven't opened my poly bag because right now i don't need another clone trooper i'll likely keep this in my collection but for now as i'm not using it i am going to keep this sealed but we can take a look at the 212 you've probably already seen plenty of them it's a solid minifigure and as you can see the helmet holes do work with the accessories you get with Sabine. So let me know if you did get the 212 on the magazine or if you've got another minifigure, I'd also love to hear because I'm really not sure what pattern they go with for selecting the alternate poly bags. Obviously, it's one that you'd think wouldn't have sold as well, but I think these 212 were a fan favorite, only coming in that larger ATTE set. So once again, I hope that if you don't fancy a Sabine, perhaps you've already got the T6, I don't really think Sabine's someone you can army build and you want to read the comics and have a go at some of the games inside. Hopefully you'll be able to stop, pause this and follow along with the magazine. But again, there will be a few of these on my Bricklink store at some point. I will try to not get as much glare on this as I sometimes end up doing. But the comics in this are really, really fun. They always are, but I think... Every single comic surprises me because they're able to create a fun storyline without repeating too many themes. And the posters on the inside of this are actually pretty cool too. Now, I did think that we were getting next month's posters. So next month's posters are Kenobi and Anakin and then Kenobi on Luke on the other side. I'll try and find some images online of one of the Europe copies. But if you do like those magazines, they're definitely fun to have on your wall. This month, we end up with Luke Skywalker and C-3PO in the land speeder, not the UCS land speeder. And then we have the Mandalorian, this is the weight poster, which we've seen a few different times, different variations of this. I know we've got, this is the weight with the four battle pack Mandos in the background there. I don't think we've had one with these five minifigures, but we've seen the same style. We've seen Mando and Grogu. Then we've seen like the armor, a bow and Mando. And there's definitely been a few variations. So they will look good on the wall together. And again, it is the, I don't remember what year this playset is from. It's the one without the bars around the front, which probably the worst land speeder I have built. And there has been a ton because I really liked having them bar elements around the front, though it definitely looks a bit more accurate to what you see on screen. You've also got a Grogu and Din to colour in if you are interested in that. And again, some more 
puzzles and games which I hope you can enjoy because I feel like there used to be so many pages of advertisements in these magazines and they haven't exactly removed them all. I know there's definitely a few in the Minecraft magazine as well, but there's just less than there were in the Star Wars version. So it's nice to be getting more of these puzzles. You can see we do have the page relating to the toy, which is usually denoted just at the top here. You can see it does say toy. And this is a really nice inclusion because we also then follow it up with a comic with Sabine in. So it's a way to see some adventures with the minifigure. Perhaps who you're buying this magazine for hasn't quite understood the Ahsoka show enough to know who Sabine is and probably hasn't watched Rebels. So this gives a nice story to go with the minifigure as well as a nice spot the difference here. It's not always a spot the difference. Sometimes it is a different puzzle, but you'll always find something relating to the toy. And that's what I like about the magazine. So the first comic was relating to Boba Fett, a fellow Mandalorian, I guess, but this centers around Sabine and we follow the minifigure on an adventure. You can see a full page advertisement for Ninjago and I think that's the only one in this magazine because with our last puzzle we now get to the end where you can see the next magazine will come with this phase two trooper and there are some answers as well if you have followed along with the puzzles. On the back page you also get a cutout and this is a sort of snap game with all the Mandalorians. If I was to get the Minecraft magazine back, you can see there is a mob cutout. So you can have the head of a blaze or the head of a zombie on the other side. And these are really cool. Usually these are storage containers, similar to last month with Star Wars, where we got the Darth Vader tins. You have been able to cut out a few of these and use these as little cardboard storage, not really cardboard. I don't know what material it is. It's just a thick paper for your ships, minifigures, and that brings me to another point. We haven't been getting too many actual builds with these magazines. This is minifigure seven out of the nine magazines we've got so far. I think before Vader, there was a Mandalorian N1 build, and I don't remember the other one, but we have got, I think it was an Imperial shuttle actually, because I built that one in a video. But seven minifigures out of nine, you'd expect the rest of the year to be some sort of build of a ship, which are really cool because they're reminding me more and more now of the old Planet series we used to get, which I will hopefully be reviewing in a few weeks time here on the channel because I'd love to take a look back at all the ships that I picked up. But this is minifigure number seven. And then we have the shiny for next month, minifigure eight and the TIE Pilot minifigure nine. We normally get about 50-50 minifigs and builds. About of the 12, well, usually we get 13 magazines in a year, but 12, 13 magazines, we've already got nine minifigures. So add the two builds to that. And there's only two other magazines to get. If we got minifigures, that would be really cool. But I'd also like some builds sometime soon. Perhaps we'll get two builds as the last two magazines of the year because we just got two builds in the middle of the year, two builds at the end of the year. That sort of makes sense. For the people that want builds over minifigures, I can't complain. I can finally add Sabine to my collection and we've been waiting for this minifigure for so long. I thought this was, I think it was like two magazines ago we were going to be getting this. And then we had the Shuttle Tidarium and then we had the Darth Vader case, which... I didn't manage to pick up and I'll be honest, I'm not too fast about getting the tin because it's not going for too much money. So if I ever do decide I want it, I'll probably just buy it on Bricklink. Hopefully the listing for these magazines can be uploaded to Bricklink soon. I will have a video and a community post at least and probably even a short on an Instagram post letting you know when the magazines are up. Though if you would like to know the minute they are added, be sure to join the Discord because I'll probably put it in there before anywhere else. And there are more details to come regarding that. I am aiming to ship to absolutely anywhere. As long as you're all right covering the shipping costs, I really don't mind. And the shipping costs aren't too bad with Royal Mail, thankfully. But thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. Let me know what you think of the magazine down in the comments. And will you be picking up Sabine or are you excited for next month's clone or even the tie pilot the month after. Let me know in the comments. Check out all the videos on screen now. May the bricks be with you always.